Hi friends, I welcome you all at Cragrate B. As you all know that we are covering government schemes for uh, your upcoming exam. And today we are going to cover this Pradhan Mantri formalization of micro food processing enterprises scheme. It is known as PMFME in short. And this scheme is run by the launched by the Ministry of Food Processing Industry Government of India. Why we are covering this scheme? Actually, our motive is to cover this scheme in a very comprehensive manner and we are covering very minute detail of this scheme. So, you cannot miss any question which come from this scheme into your exam. So, dosto shuru karte hain. Friends, the food processing sector is one of the important segment of the Indian economy in terms of its contribution to GDP, employment and investment. So this is the data. In this slide, you will see that the impact of food processing sector and uh, this data I have taken for last 5 years and it was ending 2018 and 19. Why I am sharing this data with you? Because by seeing this data, you are able to understand that what is the importance of this food processing sector in our economy. First of all, if you will see that this sector is growing at an average annual growth rate of around 10%. It is a very high percentage that any sector is growing in our country. Agar hum baat kare gross value ki, to aap dekhenge ki its contribution in manufacturing sector is 8.98% and under agriculture sector it is contributing to 11.11 percent. Dosto, is data ko aap thoda dimaag mein rakhna, kyunki isi data ke basis par aap is scheme ke baare mein samajh paenge ki ye scheme actual mein kyon launch ki gayi, iske kya impact hone wale hain hamare economy par aur ye kya kya benefit dene wali hai logon ko. If you know that there are total 25 lakhs food processing enterprises in the unorganized sector. Do you understand what is the unorganized sector? The second point is micro food processing enterprises contribute 74% to employment in food processing. This is, I am talking about this micro food processing enterprises and 60% of these micro enterprises are located in rural area and this 80% of micro enterprises are family based right so if you are getting largest employment largest number of enterprises in rural areas and these are also family based. So, you can see that if I give this sector a little support, de dun, if I help that this sector will rise, then you can help in the generation of employment. You can help these rural areas which are backward, and you, are also, you can also help these small food processing enterprises which are family based. So, this sector is contributing in growth of our country, but this sector required a support from our government. So, this is the reason behind launching of this scheme that is known as the Pradhan Mantri formalization of micro food processing enterprises. Agar aap is sector ko thoda sa support de denge, to ye sare benefits, ek reason rural area ko benefit aap de sakte hai, you can give benefit to the 
uh, employment which are unemployed and the most important you can develop this unorganized sector which is this uh, area where this 25 lakhs of food processing enterprises are working so sabse pehle aapke dimag mein ek question aa raha hoga ki ye unorganized sector kya hota hai friend unorganized sector mein aapko samjha deta hu unorganized sector is a sector which is generally not governed by the rules and regulation that are laid down by the government regarding the condition of employment for example if any person is working in a government or a limited company then he is able to get uh, leaves on time he is able to get pf yes he, he are he is able to get some social protection scheme जो कि आपके इस अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर में नहीं होती है तो मेरा कहने का मतलब यहां पर यह है कि इफ यू आर सपोर्टिंग दिस सेक्टर विद सम सपोर्ट फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी और यू कैन सपोर्ट दिस सेक्टर बाय लॉन्चिंग सम स्कीम्स तो आप इस सेक्टर को हेल्प कर सकते हैं फॉर द जनरेशन ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉर द रीजनल बैलेंस और इस अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर को आप उठा सकते हैं अब देखते हैं कि दिस स्कीम की जरूरत हमको क्यों पड़ी वाई वी नीड दिस स्कीम इफ वी टॉक अबाउट अवर कंट्री एंड यू विल फाइंड दैट दीज आर दीज ऑल आर द रीजन बिहाइंड लॉन्चिंग ऑफ दिस स्कीम इफ वी टेक दिस पॉइंट इन अ वेरी डिटेल्ड मैनर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस रिडक्शन ऑफ इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट दीज आर द रीजन for launching of this scheme the first one is the reduction of wastage improves value addition promotes crop diversification ensure better returns to the farmer because this farmer is related to this sector promotes employment and uh, address critical issues like food security and food inflation and it is a big issue in our country and increase of export earning because this food processing sector contribute in foreign earning of our country and last we can say that provision of wholesome nutrition food for the masses if we see that this section that this is a reduction of wastage and if you find as per the food waste index report food based waste index report report 2021 then it says that a uh, staggering of 50 kg of food 50 kg of food is thrown away per person per person per year in our country and this excess food waste usually end up in landfills creating potent greenhouse gases and which have the environmental implication so we can they say that if we can reduce this wastage of food in our country then uh, we can save uh, most of the food in, in our country and we can ensure the food security in our country and we can also control food inflation in our country if we talk about this point that is increase export earning if you will see our country is looking to achieve a 1 trillion export by 2020 1 trillion export by 2025 so our country country cannot ignore the food processing inter- industry which has 32% share in the food market this is the share of this food industry and uh, this is uh, this is the share in food industry and 10.4% share in export so in a very short manner we can say that if we want to achieve the target of this 1 trillion by 2025 then we cannot neglect this sector and it is if we consider this point that this is provision of wholesome and nutrition food for the masses and if you will see there are some data which i want to share with you and uh, 
if we talk about the status of malnutrition in our country then the prevalence of undernutrition among the total population in india was 15.3% that is 15.3% during 2018 and 20 this value has improved from uh, previous years but still this value is high so if you will see if we make some changes in this food processing industry then we can give some nutritious food to our country if we talk about the employment then this sector also aim to add 9 million jobs by 2024 and if we talk about the global major economies then uh, some major eco economies have advanced food processing ecosystem with high level of processing that is 70 to 80 percent against our country so in a nutshell we can say that some developing countries like uh, western countries us uk they are uh, processing their food up to 70 to 80 percent but in our country we are processing only 10 percent food so we are also lagging behind from uh, the, the 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 advanced country and uh, you can think if we start processing our food up to that level that we, that is 70 to 80 percent so we can reduce this wastage and we can ensure return to the our farmers and uh, i have already already discussed this promotes of employment this sector is targeting 9 million jobs by 2024 so this is the importance of this sector and uh, if this sector is how much important agar ye itna zyada important hai to kya government ko is sector ki taraf dhyan dena chahiye ya nahi dena chahiye to mera answer hai कि हाँ इस सेक्टर को अगर गवर्नमेंट थोड़ा सा सपोर्ट करेगी तो ये हमको बहुत ज्यादा प्रॉफिट और मल्टीप्लिकेशन देगा इन टर्म्स ऑफ जॉब और इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट न्यूट्रिशन फूड सिक्योरिटी एवरीथिंग यू कैन हैव इफ यू विल सपोर्ट दिस सेक्टर इन अ वेरी सिंपल इन अ वेरी बहुत ही मतलब छोटे स्तर से अगर आप इसको सपोर्ट करोगे तो ये सेक्टर आपकी बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प कर सकता है तो दिस इज द नीड ऑफ दिस स्कीम now we will see that what are the challenges in this sector abhi maine scheme ko bare mein kuch bhi shuru nahi kiya hai abhi just i am discussing with you the point that why we required this scheme so these are some challenges the first is the how high cost of institutional credit for example agar koi micro food industry और स्मॉल सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप विच आर विच दिस ग्रुप इज वर्किंग फॉर फूड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री इफ ही रिक्वायर्ड सम लोन इफ ही रिक्वायर्ड सम मनी देन दिस रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ मनी इज वेरी हाई आई मीन टू से इफ दे वॉन्ट टू गेट लोन फ्रॉम एनी बैंक देन द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज वेरी हाई सो वी कैन से दैट the high cost of institutional credit to this sector if you will see the access to the modern technology that this micro food industry and mostly it is run by the family it is run by the rural under the rural area then they are lagging behind this modern technology agar aap western countries ki baat karenge aur नीदरलैंड और न्यूजीलैंड की बात करेंगे देन देयर डेरी इंडस्ट्री डेरी इंडस्ट्री आर फार अहेड फ्रॉम अवर फॉर फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्री फ्रॉम अवर कंट्री वाई बिकॉज दे आर यूजिंग मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी इफ दे वॉन्ट टू गेट सम मिल्क फ्रॉम देयर काउ देन दे आर यूजिंग सम इंपॉर्टेंट दे आर यूजिंग सम एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर गेटिंग मिल्क फ्रॉम देयर काउ और बफेलोज the second one the third point is they are they are giving some inadequate value addition opportunities for example 
if you are producing mango and you are selling this mango directly to the directly into the market then you are not taking any you are not giving any value addition to this mango or abhi kuch bahar ke countries mein bhi hum mango ko directly supply kar rahe hain aur they are using this mango in their food industry and they are producing some value added product in their country agar hum this mango ko khud hi process karenge aur in countries mein bhejenge to aap socho ki hamari jo export ki income hai wo kitni badh jayegi इसके बाद फूड सेफ्टी स्टैंडर्ड दे आर रनिंग इन आ रूरल एरिया सो जो हमारे यहाँ स्टैंडर्ड फूड के मेंटेन किए जाते हैं उस पर भी ये बहुत लैग हो रहे हैं दूसरा मार्केट की नॉलेज नहीं है दे आर लैगिंग बिहाइंड द मार्केट नॉलेज क्यों क्योंकि ये जाते हैं कहीं भी अपना सामान बेच देते हैं बट अगर इनको मार्केट की नॉलेज है कि अगर दे वॉन्ट टू सेल देअर प्रोडक्ट इन आ राइट मार्केट एंड विद सम वैल्यू एडिशन तो दे कैन गिव सम हैंडसम अमाउंट by selling their product the last is a branding if someone is uh, selling their milk selling their mango selling their honey so they have to don't have any branding to these uh, product and the last is the skilled man power maine abhi aapse chhota sa example discuss kiya western countries they are uh, jo unke yahan par cow aur buffaloes hain wo wahan par agar milk ko produce karte hain they are using some modern technology and they have the high skilled man power so these are the challenges now the opportunities kya hai hamare paas aap agar opportunities ki baat karenge ki agar main opportunities ko dekhu to sabse pehli baat main baat karunga india has a very young demography agar aap dekhenge india have a youth that is 18 to 29 years constitute 22 percent of the Indian population, uh, which is more than 261 million. And recently, you have heard that in 2020, the India became the youngest country in the world with 60 percent population in working group. So this is our opportunity that we have a youngest. demography and if we talk about the consumption pattern if you will see in a metro cities or in a big cities both husband and husband and wives are working aur agar unko aap processed food denge ya value added food denge to wo bahut hi zyada matlab uh, satisfy rahenge why because they both are working in any organization and and they will prefer to take food which they can easily make at their home so this is the consumption pattern we can say that this is changing in our country and uh, agar aap dekhe to this organized retail sector hai it is also going in one in our country disposable income is also rising in our country urbanization we are moving towards urbanization we are the people are running from this rural area to urban area and we can say that rapid urbanization is uh, doing in our country and in last we can say that rise in the nuclear family with a growing demand for functional and nutraceutical food pehle aap apne father uncle sabke sath rehte the lekin jaise jaise urbanization ho raha hai jobs jo hai wo bade bade shaharon mein aa rahi hain तो जो जॉइंट फैमिलीज होती हैं वो न्यूक्लियर फैमिली में कन्वर्ट हो रही हैं और उनकी जो डिमांड है वो आजकल न्यूट्रा सेटिकल फूड्स की तरफ ज्यादा बढ़ गई हैं पहले लोग बिल्कुल नहीं समझते थे कि वो कुछ भी मतलब खाने के लिए या उसके लिए उनके पास बहुत ज्यादा सोचने के लिए टाइम ही होता था बट आज की डेट में जिस न्यूट्रा सेटिकल फूड्स की तरफ बहुत सारे लोग मूव कर रहे हैं तो दीज आर द अपॉर्चुनिटीज नाउ अब बात करते हैं कि इसके कुछ फैक्ट्स के बारे में गवर्नमेंट ने इस स्कीम को लॉन्च किया था ट्वेंटी में 2020 को और इसकी गाइडलाइंस को इशू किया था 19 जून 2020 इसका जो टाइम पीरियड गवर्नमेंट ने दिया है दैट इज फाइव इयर्स फ्रॉम 2020 21 टू 2020 425 
एंड इसके लिए बजट एलोकेट किया है टेन थाउजेंड करोड़ और इनका टारगेट है टू लैक्स माइक्रो फूड प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट विल बी डायरेक्टली असिस्टेड विद अ क्रेडिट लिंक सब्सिडी दो लाख माइक्रो फूड प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट को ये असिस्ट करेंगे विद क्रेडिट लिंक सब्सिडी ये जब आगे आएगा मैं आपको समझाऊंगा कि कैसे बेनिफिट करेगी गवर्नमेंट नाउ फर्स्ट इसका जो फंडिंग पैटर्न है फंडिंग पैटर्न इज वेरी सिंपल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज अ सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम अगर ये सेंट्रली स्पॉन्सर्ड स्कीम है तो इसमें कुछ रेशियो होगा सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट का एंड दिस रेशियो इज सिक्स टू फोर्टी फॉर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड यूटीज विद लेजिस्लेचर एंड दिस इज नाइनटी रेशियो टेन बिटवीन सेंट्रल एंड द नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट एंड हिमालयन स्टेट एंड द गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग हंड्रेड परसेंट सेंट्रल असिस्टेंट फॉर यूटीज दैट इज विदाउट लेजिस्लेचर दिस इज द फंडिंग पैटर्न Now, what are the objective of this scheme? I have talked you, I have told you in my earlier slide that this sector, that is micro food processing sector or entrepreneur, are lagging for this credit. So, government is targeting that they will increase this credit to this micro food processing entrepreneurs like. FPOs like self-help groups like cooperatives. They will also integrate with organized supply chain by strengthening branding and marketing. Try to understand this point. For example, if any company is making honey, right? So from their field, they are they are producing, and till the the this honey. is sold uh, sold to the retailers in a packed bottle so before uh, from this bee keeping house to this uh, uh, bottle there are various stages for producing this honey right they can be of uh, of packaging they can be of segregation everything if you will see that in in this stage stage you will find everything sorting manufacturing before reaching this honey to the market from this bee keeping house it uh, crosses various stages of manufacturing so what government is doing government is uh, strengthening this supply chain by giving them branding and increasing the marketing of this product they are also targeting Two lakhs of enterprises into formal framework. For example, I have told you earlier that these micro food processing industries are mainly in unorganized sector. So, government is trying to help these industry to convert to transform these industry into the formal framework, and they are also uh, increasing access to service like common processing facility. laboratories storage packaging marketing and incubation services how they will do it what they are doing if any person any self help group is any uh, micro food processing entrepreneur producing any food so what happens there are some common processing facility for example they are producing honey we take example of honey so in manufacturing of honey or in manufacturing of some other product they are they require some common facility so they are uh, the government is helping to give access to this honey producer to take advantage of advantages of this uh, common processing facility if someone wants to test their honey they are providing laboratories if someone wants to store their honey they are giving storage if someone wants to give uh, packaging marketing then they can also help from this uh, government uh, the government uh, uh, the, the the facility provided by the government right and uh, they are also providing incubation services friends i think you know about the incubator if you don't know then uh, incubator center or service is the institution that assist entrepreneur in developing their business and how they help they solve their problems 
solve, solve their problem. Generally, the incubators play a very important role in the initial stages of any uh, production or any industry. So, they help in the initial stage by providing an array of business and technical services like they provide seed funds, they provide lab facilities, they provide advisory, network and marketing linkages and they also provide some technical guidance to the industry. And in last we can say that they are also increase access for the enterprises to professional and technical support. So these are the objective of this scheme. Now there are some provision of this scheme. Under this scheme they are giving some different different types. They are giving support from individual person to common facility center. So if any person or any individual micro enterprises want to take advantage of this scheme. So under this scheme, the government is providing credit link capital subsidy at the 35% of the eligible project cost with maximum ceiling of 10 lakhs per unit. In a nutshell, we can say that अगर कोई माइक्रो प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री काम कर रही है और वो अपने आप को आगे बढ़ाना चाहती है और ग्रोथ करना चाहती है और कुछ अपने बिजनेस को एक्सपेंड करना चाहती है तो गवर्नमेंट उस टोटल प्रोजेक्ट का 35 परसेंट दे रहा है और उस 35 परसेंट भी उसमें मैक्सिमम कैपिंग है 10 लाख तो वो दे रहे हैं पर यूनिट इसके अलावा दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग बेनिफिशियरी कंट्रीब्यूशन दे आर गिविंग मिनिमम टेन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट एंड बैलेंस दे आर Uh, providing uh, loan from the bank. अगर हम बात करें कि अगर एफ पी ओ को फार्मर्स प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप और प्रोड्यूसर को अगर हेल्प करना है तो दे आर गिविंग और कॉपरेटिव को देना है तो दे आर गिविंग क्रेडिट लिंक ग्रांट एट द थर्टी फाइव परसेंट टू क्लस्टर एंड ग्रुप लाइक एफ पी ओ सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप प्रोड्यूसर कॉपरेटिव टू देयर एंटायर वैल्यू चेन फॉर सॉर्टिंग ग्रेडिंग स्टोरेज कॉमन प्रोसेसिंग पैकेजिंग एंड मार्केटिंग एंड टेस्टिंग सो अगर ग्रुप में भी लेना चाहते हैं तो दे आर गिविंग थर्टी फाइव फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द कॉस्ट नाउ अदर प्रोविजन अगर कोई सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप का मेंबर लेना चाहता है तो उस केस में दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग सीड कैपिटल एट द रेट ऑफ फोर्टी थाउजेंड पर मेंबर ऑफ सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप एज अ वर्किंग कैपिटल एंड परचेज ऑफ स्मॉल टूल राइट इस पॉइंट को थोड़ा समझिए यहां पे। फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड नो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द सीड कैपिटल एक्चुअली द सीड कैपिटल इज द मनी रेस टू बीइंग डेवलप एन आइडिया फॉर अ बिजनेस और अ न्यू प्रोडक्ट सो इफ एनी सेल्फ हेल्प हेल्प ग्रुप वांट्स टू डू सम बिजनेस दैट इज न्यू इन द मार्केट देन दे रिक्वायर सम मनी सो दिस सीड कैपिटल इज गिवेन अंडर दिस स्कीम एंड फॉर डूइंग सम बिजनेस दे रिक्वायर सम टूल्स स्मॉल टूल फॉर फुलफिलिंग Uh, the need of the self help group to purchase this small tool government is giving this 40000 per member of this self help group and this seed capital to be given as a grant to the self help group uh, federation by under the state rural livelihood mission as a loan to the self help group so they are integrating other schemes to uh, this scheme also now some other provision if someone wants to or some uh, any individual self help group member wants to start as a single fault processing unit then the, the the government is giving credit link grant at the 35% of the project cost with the capping of this 10 lakhs right and the support for capital investment at federation of self help group level with credit link grant at 30% right now there are some common infrastructure first of all friend this uh, scheme works on the one district one product approach i will tell you how this is work and if this is working on this one district one product uh, approach then they require some common infrastructure so again government is giving this credit link grant at a 35% to support fpos self help groups cooperative or any government agency right and uh, this common infrastructure will also be available for other units and public 
to utilizing hiring basis for substantial part of the capacity now this premises of a saying of agriculture produce sorting grading warehousing and cold storage can also be a common infrastructure and this common processing facility for processing of odop procedure i will discuss you this one district one product uh, approach in my upcoming slide now they are also giving some incubation center i have already told you how this incubation center center work then this incubation center should involve one or more product line for utilization by smaller units on higher basis for pro processing of their produce and the incubation center may partially be used for training purpose for example if someone wants to process their mangoes which they have produced in their their area then this incubation center will help in a product line for utilization by smaller units and for producing of this mango processing of this mango they will also train these people how they can process this mango so this is the help now they are also giving some branding and market marketing support and they are giving grant up to 50% for branding and marketing support to the groups of fpo self help groups and cooperative or any special purpose vehicle micro food processing enterprises and for this capacity building first of all you should understand what is the meaning of this capacity building if some person is working under this food processing industry then they should have some technical knowledge they should have some uh, inbuilt knowledge uh, not inbuilt they should have some knowledge about it and if you are giving increasing their knowledge base and you are boosting their knowledge it means you are give, uh, 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 giving uh, you are supporting in the capacity building so under this scheme they are also capacity uh, building and uh, they are providing training for uh, solving this purpose at the national level they are taking help of this national institute for food technology enterprises and management and the indian institute for food processing technology they will spear had the capacity building component of this scheme and at the state level they are also taking help of this institute that is nifdm and iifpp and they will support by the state technology institution present in the food processing technology right now they are also running this uh, entrepreneurship development skill program plus program and this program will meet the requirement of food industry and product specific skilling for following category of person they are giving training to the individual micro food processing enterprises that they are uh, they are getting credit link grant under the scheme individual or existing micro food processing enterprises they are which are not taking any loan under this scheme workers of this food processing industry or self help group members or fp or cooperative members members of this self help group cooperative that are engaged in food processing and the government officials which are related to this scheme which are working for this scheme now they are they have set some institutional mechanism first of all you should understand what is the meaning of this institutional mechanism if government is uh, launching any scheme then how each and every person will get the benefit of this scheme so to give benefit of this scheme to each and every individual they have set an institutional mechanism first of all you know that this is a centrally spon sponsored scheme and it is implemented by the ministry of food and processing industry under this the this ministry of food and processing industry is working as a nodal agency and they work with the uh, in the collaboration of the state nodal agency of respective states where they want to launch this scheme or the state which are uh, which are working uh, for this scheme and all the state and uts have appointed some nodal agencies for the implementation of this scheme and uh, application for this credit link subsidy for individual enterprises are approved at the state level or ministry of food processing industry for monitoring and approval they have formed sub committees at state and district level 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ सम पर्सन हैज अप्लाइड इफ एनी सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप हैज अप्लाइड टू टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस स्कीम दे कैन दे कैन अप्लाई फॉर फॉर टेकिंग एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस स्कीम एट स्टेट लेवल और फ्रॉम मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फूड एंड प्रोसेसिंग इंडस्ट्री एंड आफ्टर गेटिंग दिस एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम दिस मेंबर इट विल मॉनिटर और अप्रूव बाय सम कमेटी विच आर वर्किंग एट स्टेट एंड डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल राइट नाउ दिस दे आर फॉलोइंग दिस वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट वन प्रोडक्ट स्ट्रेटेजी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस स्कीम एडॉप्ट वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट वन प्रोडक्ट अप्रोच वाई to reap the benefit of the scale in terms of procurement of inputs availing common services and marketing of the product and this odop for the scheme will provide the framework for the value chain development and alignment of support of infrastructure and there may be more than one cluster of this odp product for example if agar main baat karu bihar ki agar wahan par makhana bahut zyada paida ho raha hai और किसी पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में पैदा हो रहा है तो इस मखाने को प्रोड्यूस करने के लिए अगर मैं थोड़ी सी हेल्प कर दूंगा इस मखाने का वैल्यू एडिशन अगर मैं कर दूंगा तो सोचिए आप ये जो हमारी स्कीम है वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट वन प्रोडक्ट ये कितनी सक्सेसफुल हो जाएगी तो मैं मेरा कहने का मतलब यह है कि अगर बिहार में मखाना को अगर प्रोड्यूस किया जा रहा है तो इसकी भी कुछ स्ट्रेटेजी होंगी अगर ये फार्मर्स के फील्ड से और रिटेल uh, मार्केट में आ रहा है तो सॉर्टिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग और जो भी स्टेजेस होती है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन uh, पैकेजिंग अगर मैं इन सारे uh, जो चेन है सप्लाई चेन है उसकी हेल्प कर दूंगा विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस स्कीम देन दिस वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट वन प्रोडक्ट विल बिकम सक्सेसफुल इन अवर कंट्री नाउ नाउ फ्रेंड्स वॉट आर द बेनिफिट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस बट इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट मैनर वी विल डिस्कस then uh, government is government is going to give benefit for this 2 lakhs of existing micro enterprises government is trying to transition of this existing 2 lakhs of enterprises into a formal frame, framework which i have told you earlier they are trying to transform this unorganized sector into a formal or organized sector right they are also increasing access to credit to existing micro food processing industry which i have told you earlier 35% credit grant to existing industry the scheme is also expected to generate skilled and semi skilled job at the local level they are expecting 9 million jobs by 2024 they are also giving providing some common services like food testing storage facility access to high which mai maine aapko bataya tha ki hamare yahan par जो फूड टेस्टिंग की फैसिलिटी है वो बहुत कम है इफ यू वांट टू एक्सपोर्ट योर प्रोडक्ट देन यू हैव टू इंप्रूव योर फूड टेस्टिंग फैसिलिटी एंड इट विल आल्सो इंक्रीज द टर्नओवर ऑफ माइक्रो फूड प्रोसेसिंग एंटरप्राइजेस इट विल बेटर इंटीग्रेट एक्सिस्टिंग माइक्रो एंटरप्राइजेस विद ऑर्गेनाइज मार्केट एंड इन लास्ट एस सी एस पीपल वुमेन एंटरप्राइजेस will be empowered at the scheme lay special focus on machinery technology and incubation services so friend this was the benefit of this scheme now this is a very small point you can take here this scheme has converted the all these other scheme in a in a single point how recently they have signed a mou with all these organ ministries or organization they have signed a uh, mou with this ministry of tribal affairs for implementation of this scheme they have signed a mou with this trifed icar nsftc nstfdc nafed ncdc re ti fssai nird and pi and they have also signed a mou with this union bank of india as a nodal bank and 14 other bank for as a lending bank if they want to give they want to provide some credit to this uh, this scheme to the self help group or uh, food processing uh, uh, farmers producer organization or cooperative then they have signed a mu with this bank to give credit to this organization so this is the convergence of this scheme 
and uh, friend this was all from the my side for this scheme these are our star performer they have selected in rbi grade b exam 2020 friend we are providing this cv grade a course video course at rupees 2499 in this course you will include current affairs video lecture aesthetic part notes on complete syllabus and uh, if you want to purchase RBI grade B and CB grade A course we are also providing this combo course at B3499 for more update you can visit our website www.cragnity.com and these are the details which we are providing in our course and uh, till then thank you and happy learning i will come up with more videos padte rahiye mehnat karte rahiye